what's up party people welcome to another cooking with cocktails so today um it's actually sunday but i figured i'd share today's meal um for our wednesday cooking with cocktails because i am doing like a rather traditional sunday meal if you will um it is going to be spatchcock lemon herb chicken and y'all excuse my eyes my allergies are crazy right now um i'm gonna do some asparagus haven't quite figured out what other vegetable I'm going to do yet. And I'm going to cook the chicken with potatoes, carrots, and onions. So if you're interested in seeing how I spatchcock a chicken and fix some things on the side, stay tuned. All right, we're back inside. I have everything laid out. Um, let me tell you first what I'm drinking. So as you can tell, it's not a cocktail because it's kind of early on, and it's Sunday morning, honey. We will have a cocktail later though, and I am going to come back and record that. And like I told you, remember, this is Sunday's dinner, but I'm sharing it with you on Wednesday. Uh, there's no way I could cook a meal like this on a weeknight unless I was off the next day because it requires some time. In my jar, I'm drinking a detox juice. This is celery, cucumber, pineapple lemon and ginger this drink is really good for detoxing i recommend if you make this to drink it at night before you go to bed and in the morning when you wake up because it really clears those toxins out you can drink this and follow it with uh, eight ounces of water and i can promise you it's gonna clean you out honey we'll make a cocktail later all right let's get into what i actually picked from the garden so i cut up plenty of oregano i probably will not need to use all of this but i have plenty of oregano i could cut a few sprigs of rosemary so everything smells so good and fresh sage because you know sage is kind of strong oh my gosh i wish y'all could smell Ooh, ooh. wish y'all could smell that but here lord i'm throwing it at you i'm making you smell it smell that sage no just kidding but sage I also cut, look what's back. Remember I just said the other night that we didn't have any green onions growing yet? Child, all that rain. Jesus juice. I'm telling you, I call rain Jesus juice. It helped. So I have some, some scallions from the yard. Didn't have any thyme yet because it's not growing as fast, but it is coming in. I did have some thyme that I got from the grocery store already in the fridge. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this with butter. So it's going to be like an herb butter concoction. And I'm going to go ahead and dice all this up, put it in the pot with a stick of butter. Might use a, another half. Not quite sure. It'll depend on what it's looking like in the pot. And I'm going to use that to pour all over the chicken. All right, so over here we have our carrots. We have some potatoes. Onion. And old faithful trusty garlic. This is all going to be in the pan with the chicken. I need to get a larger... Um, cast iron skillet i know that for sure i just haven't gotten one but all this is going to go in the pan with the chicken and i'm going to roast some asparagus in the oven on the side so and the asparagus is not looking all that great but i'm gonna cut the top rubber band off first so um i don't know it's just depressing at the amounts of money we have to spend on stuff that's really not all that great but i'm not even gonna complain because lord i thank you that i could actually even buy this so i'm gonna move some things out of the way and we'll get into cooking this dinner i went on to put on the apron because i feel like i'm gonna need to be doing like some of this and i do not want to do that on my shirt so i divided up the herbs and I have um, some herbs left here that I'm actually going to lay on top of the bird. I did go ahead and put the two sticks of butter whoa, in the pan, the pot, and we're going to cut the tips off. This is a really simple um, recipe for herb butter. Um, I make herb butter every year during the holidays. Um, something is not trying to cut. Oh, this, this time. Why is it so tough? I don't know. Just cut the, wouldn't allow me to drag the knife through it. Oh, well. All right. So let's see if we can cut the rest of this. If the rest of it is going to, there must be another piece of time in here. Yep. 
I can't even do my little wrist action. But um, my sister-in-law makes herb butter and she brought some here. I can't stand the fact that I cannot take this knife through these herbs. Um, she brought some a couple of years ago and I never really thought to make my own because I love purchasing herb butter. But then after that, I was like, after that, I was like, you know what? It does make sense. Did I just throw that? I did. I was like, it does make sense to make your own because you can control the herbs that you put in as well as the amount. So it can have more flavor because the herb butters you buy from the store most times are not going to have all the herbs in it that you want or it may have herbs in it that you don't want um like some of them may have the rosemary but it doesn't have sage and you want sage so then if you're like me you end up melting <laughs> the butter that you brought adding sage to it re-solidifying it is that a word re-solidify but putting it back in the freezer so it can solidify and then you basically have wasted time in my opinion i have the herbs here nice and diced let me see that rosemary was that was turned into a tree or something because good lord that was thick everything is nice and diced oh it smells so good in here i love the smell of fresh herbs absolutely love it but anyway back to what i was saying because y'all know i can get on go off on a tangent in a minute so I was thinking, you know what, I grow herbs, so why not just make my own herb butter? Because, you know, it's good in more than just chicken. I mean, I've used it in vegetables before. Um, we've used it and put it on bread. I will be showing the rolling process probably during the holidays because that's when I normally go through all the whole freezing and making batches big enough so that we have some left after the holidays. But you can use it on so much. And this battery is going dead. That's what the pot looks like. I already have the asparagus over here rinsing. It's in a little bath so it can get clean. Um, let's see, do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm going to wipe this cutting board off so that I can cut up the... Actually, it really doesn't matter. Um, next, I'm going to cut up the onions and the garlic, which is fine fine not fine so i'm gonna do that next all right in the pot we have our butter our herbs and i season it with some onion and garlic powder black pepper and smoked paprika that's all i put in here so i'm gonna put the lid on and let it slowly boil um i don't like to leave the eye on too high so i have the eye on level two and um you know i'm just gonna check on it but i'm gonna let it slowly melt down and then by the time it's finished melting down we'll let it cool off and we should be ready to start seasoning the chicken and be ready to pour it on there next up we're gonna cut these onions down and um did y'all see my strawberry biscuits oh my gosh okay so there's a lady here on youtube next what is going on with this onion name I'm um, cooking with net um, but I started following her recently because I'm always looking for like quick dessert ideas and baby listen her channel loaded with quick dessert options that you can make at home amazing I, I'm gonna make this ice cream she has this ice cream I'm gonna make that oh I'm so excited so excited but the biscuits came out really good um i wanted to have one first thing this morning but i was like mm -mm. because even though they're not sweet i needed to have um my juice first so where did i leave off i was saying we're gonna cut this garlic up um i don't think that's what i was saying but that's what i'm saying now <laughs> we'll cut this garlic garlic then we're gonna cut our onions and um the garlic is gonna go in the pot with the herbs that way when i pour it over the chicken 
and under the chicken the garlic will be already did I lose a piece? will already be um infused into the butter so i wanted to go ahead and get the garlic cut up we're going to take this over to the pot and just drop this in we're going to go ahead and cut our onion and the onion is just going to be just sliced and the reason i'm wearing gloves today is because i don't really first of all i don't want that chicken on my hands the chicken juices and secondly i'm not in the mood for my hands smelling like onion and garlic today i just got a text message uh, from my sister and a friend of ours that we were supposed to be going to a veggie fest today it's a vegan festival girl how all three of us forget i know how i forget if it's not on my calendar and my phone i'm not gonna remember because i swear by my calendar like unless someone talk, is talking about it actively and it's an event of some sort child save it in my phone because otherwise tanya ain't gonna be there because i rarely ever go back to look at events that are happening on facebook and that's where we saw it at and the sad thing is y'all it's right here near us it's not even far but i'm in here already prepping for dinner and you know i'm in the middle of what i got going on so my sister forgot she uh, our friend shamika forgot child oh and if you're not following her she's on tiktok instagram and F facebook i believe um crafting with meek and i'll put her tag her on this video Woo! she does all things crafty all right these are our carrots and we're just going to cut these ends off I should probably be using the other knife because carrots be thick. And I don't know if you can hear my TV in the background. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, watching my girl, it's me, Amber D. She's out of Texas. I think most of the people I follow are out of Texas. But I really like her channel. Real down to earth shares great ideas um good recipes jewelry like all the things makeup skincare so if you're not following her go ahead on and follow it's amber d it's me amber d we are both on the road to a thousand i'm using this knife and it's way too much look at that this knife is so much better Girl, this is one of my COVID knives. I bought this knife. My friend Tiffany, we were, everybody was in the house. And she sent me a text and she was like, knife on sale. And you know, it's perfect because it cuts through quite a bit. Like you can cut through chicken bones with this knife. Now, and we're actually going to use it today to cut through the breastbone on the chi chicken. And outside I was saying that spatchcock is just cutting it in half. It's actually cutting it in half moving the breath cutting the breastbone so it can lay flat and removing the backbone so that's what spatchcock chicken is you can do it for turkey also that carrot is a little too thick all right so our carrots are almost cut up it's carrot carrots are in this juice too now that i think about it yep i put two carrots in it because carrots i had carrots in the refrigerator that were kind of flimsy and although i don't eat carrots i use them in me in dishes and such so, as sometimes i skip around them sometimes i can eat them most times i skip around them all right so our carrots and our onions are cut up now let's cut up our potatoes and we don't need the big knife for the potatoes if this chicken is too large what i'll end up doing is putting all of my vegetables on a roasting pan and just roast them in the oven with some um put some olive oil or avocado oil on them season them up and just roast everything in um in a small pan in the oven so they'll still be you know accompaniment to the chicken but it may not actually be in the pan with the chicken so we shall see we shall see i thank y'all so much for hanging out with me and 
it seems like people are enjoying this cereal. I don't like the way that piece of potato looks. It seems like people are enjoying the Cooking with Cocktail series. And I truly appreciate all of you for tuning in um, and cooking with me. Or, you know, even if you're not cooking with me, just, you know, watching and giving your opinions on recipes and things like that. Because I love the interaction. I just appreciate it because you could really be doing anything else. But you chose to take some of your time from your day to watch me. And I appreciate it because one thing we can't get back is our time. What well, Maxine said, reclaiming my time. And I reclaim my time. That's our herb butter boiling. And now we're going to take it off so that it can cool. All right, I decided to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and mix the, mix everything in this um, casserole dish just in case because I'm really thinking this is not going to fit in this pan with this chicken because I cut up quite a bit of vegetables. And another thing I thought about, I can eat them if they're cooked separately. Yeah, I cook them separately. I can eat them. So, yeah. All right, so now what's on, who's on my TV now? Shay Nicole. She is actually out, she's out of Texas as well, but she's a Virginian. She's from the 757 Newport News. I'm from the 757 Hampton. Um, she is all things mom, all things um, elevated casual. Um, amazing. I love her channel because I'm picking up so many tips and tricks on how to zhuzh up just my basic ordinary outfit and honey for those of you in the kitten heel era she got some the cutest kitten heels and i never thought i would like kitten heels but after seeing what she has picked up some of the things some of the shoes they're amazing they are so cute so i was telling him i was like oh i'm gonna get me some kitten heels and he was like to go where All right, so here we go with the potatoes, the carrots, the onions, all cut, cut up and put in this casserole dish. They definitely will not fit in a cast iron skillet. So I'm going to take these now and um, season them up, add some oil to them, and I'm just gonna cook them right in this casserole dish. Here are the potatoes, onions, and carrots all seasoned up. I put some avocado oil on it. Now I'm just gonna cover it with some foil. So while I cleaned up the area, got the chicken already, I went on and put in the bottom of the pan some of the herb butter and just spread it out, spread it out because the chicken is going to go right on top of it. I already took out the heart, the liver, and the gizzards, and that will be used later for probably a gravy. I'm going to just put it in the freezer. Um, that's another tip for you. So the chicken has already been cleaned. I checked it for feathers to make sure there are no extra cluckers. These are my favorite scissors. They are from Pampered Chef. And as you can see, they're cutting right through this bone. These scissors are the bomb. So first we're gonna cut the back out. I don't know why it wouldn't cut that part. Let's turn her around. All right. Yes, look at that. And you can save your, you can save this too. I'm gonna save this because I'm gonna use this for making broth, chicken broth. All right, so there's the back all cut out. I know y'all probably want to see that, but I just wanted to show you that I've cut the back out of the chicken. And you can see that there's still some connection here. And that's because I haven't cut the breastbone yet. So I'm going to take my knife and just lightly go here to break it some. All right. Did y'all hear that? I just broke it. This is the knife. I'm telling you. Give me the knife, please. Name that movie. <laughs> I give you a hint if you haven't seen it. Eddie Murphy was in it. Um, I also cut out extra fat if I can because all the fat is not necessary. 
<clears throat> and just like that, <clears throat> excuse me, just like that, we have spatchcock chicken. I don't know who created the name. I don't even know where it came from. I just call it cutting the chicken in half and removing the back. And then all of a sudden, one day, I find out. Girl, it's got a whole name. It's called spatchcock. Mm. Okay, okay. All right, I feel like I want to remove this one little piece of the breastbone. Well, no, this is the wishbone. Make a wish. All right, so now it's good and flat. Yeah, I like that. I like it. So look at that. I'm going to try to bring it up closer to the camera without dropping chicken juice all over the place. All right, let's do this. So we have it cut there and she's completely in half. Now, all we need to do is season her up, put her in the pan, and I'm not gonna cook it just yet because it's so early. I just wanted to come on and start prepping for dinner. Um, I am gonna come back later to show you guys um, the chicken once it's cooked. I'm gonna cook it on um, probably 370, 375. And I'll start it out with foil on the pan. And then as it cooks, I'll remove the foil because I wanna get a nice crust on the skin. So, all right. I'm just making sure I'm cutting off all the little extra pieces of gristle and tendons and things like that that you don't want to cook in your food all right i do have bleach water over here so the scissors are going in the bleach water as is the knife and i am going to get a new pair of gloves now let's season this chicken we're gonna start off with some white pepper and we're gonna season one side then i'm gonna get gloves and flip it over and i'm actually gonna season it put it in the pan and um, season the back side. Make sure you are getting, I need gloves. I'm just not in the mood to have chicken all over my hands today. <laughs> I told y'all sometimes, I'm, some days I'm fine with it, some days I'm just totally not fine with it. So the reason I put gloves on is because I needed to lift this little flap of skin up that was covering the, the drumstick. And I want to make sure I seasoned the entire piece of meat. Like I want seasoning all over it. Even though we're going to actually add the herb butter, we still need a good amount of seasoning. Is this top? Yeah, that top goes there. All right, next up we're going to go in with our garlic powder and onion powder. So it's like I said, we're going in with garlic powder, onion powder, and we're doing this, right? Well, the next thing we're going to do is pour the, that herb butter all over it. It's going to be amazing. We're going in with that last. Now we're going to do some roasted garlic and herb and some chicken rub. This is by Stubbs. It is a really good one. Really good. And you know, you want to season your chicken really well because otherwise it's going to be bland as all get out. And just a smidge of lemon pepper. Yes, this is called a smidge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want it seasoned here. Well, they want it seasoned. Now I'm going to take um, my meat thermometer and I'm just going to poke holes in the chicken. And the reason I'm going to poke holes in the chicken, I'm pretty sure most of y'all know, but somebody might not know. I poke holes in my chicken because when I put pour the um, herb butter over it, we want it to, I don't have my, my um, syringe that I can do the injections. And if I did, the herbs are too thick to go through the syringe. So I poke holes in it with my meat thermometer so that the seasoning can actually go through into the meat. Want that season? Oh, good. Nicely. Feel like I'm about to sneeze from this seasoning. All right. Let's sit this up like that. 
and oh smoke paprika all right now there's actually seasoning and butter already in the bottom so we're gonna just close her up like that i had a change of heart i was thinking i wanted to just do it all in a pan and i just changed my mind so and i'm just gonna have to wipe these bottles off at this point but we're gonna season the skin as well i'm gonna flip her over that? thought i had gotten all the feathers found another feather hmm. all right season up really nicely now let's go in with everything else we got our pepper Got our pepper on that side thoroughly seasoned and not salty these are all seasonings but the only thing that has salt in it is the i think there's a little bit of salt in the um in the garlic roasted garlic and herb i think there's a little yeah there's some salt in there but as you can see i didn't shake a lot of that and then i used unsalted butter so there's no salt in there and this lemon pepper seasoning all lemon pepper seasoning has elements of, of has a light element of salt in it element that's not the word i want um and oh we need to put the chicken rub on the outside all right dag i just lost the light i just lost the light all right so that's nice and seasoned now we are going to take our herb butter and add it to the top of this chicken and we're going to massage it in and any herbs that <clears throat> that are laying on the cutting board they are going to go in the pan i'm not leaving them on the cutting board too much work honey too much work we want everything to be nice and seasoned no herbs left behind and let's close her up like that and get some under the skin here and actually now that i think about it i am actually able to see my finger go inside the chicken right there i wish i had a um remote that i could drag you guys in closer i'm going to put some of that under the skin some of those herbs right up underneath that skin a nice spoonful and you just spread it out you spread it all through the chicken get some under the breast yep we can massage it all into the chicken and just let it do its thing now this is going to sit for the the bulk of the day i'm not going to even start cooking dinner probably until around 5 36 so that's going to give this chicken a good amount of time to get nice and marinated and flavorful so now we're going to take the chicken we're going to go skin side down and let, look at that sit her right in the pan like that and let's get some of those herbs and that seasoning up off the cutting board and we're going to add to the pan to the chicken look at that lifting the chicken up because i don't want that butter just sitting on the outside i want it in the pan like underneath the chicken so i cleaned up my mess and i've already started cutting the asparagus and the reason i cut girl we losing food the reason i cut um my asparagus is because i don't like the ends because they're typically very stalky and i cut the ends off and then i look at the tips which i don't even know the proper name of the tips but i look to see if they are any good and if not i cut those off too dinner is really coming along pretty quickly so now i'm just gonna season it add some butter to it and then all i have to do is later do later when it's time to cook is put everything in the oven because everything has been prepped that's another way you can save time too you can prep your stuff early and then just have it ready or you could go ahead and cook it but since it's like just 12 34 to me for me it's too early oh i should fix some yams i don't even have enough sweet potatoes save yourself some time by prepping your food 
having it set aside that way you can just pop it in the oven or you know if you want to go ahead and cook it immediately that's up to you but um i'm all about time savers and trying to you know be smart about how i use my time so, especially on the weekends because the weekends come and go so quickly real easy seasoning we're gonna go in with some cracked black pepper it's almost like it doesn't want to twist there a little bit of garlic salt and y'all know garlic salt is really salty so that's all garlic salt I'm putting and then I'm going to use some of my complete seasoning this is a really good one and you know what? I just had a change in my heart. I'm gonna add avocado oil instead of butter. So we're just gonna drizzle some um, avo avocado oil on the on the asparagus. Oh, I'm almost out of it. Ooh, is it gonna be enough? Y'all, this is all. Oh. Oh my God, I need some more. All right, so we're just gonna spray some olive oil on it. And here comes the fun part. Mixing it up. Cause you want seasoning on all of your food so that everything tastes good. I wish y'all could smell it. I love the smell of seasonings. There we have our nice and shiny. Now let me wash this oil off my hands gonna use some foil cover it up and everything is now ready all right good people I am done prepping and I'll see you guys later on once the food is done all right so this is our chicken that's our potatoes onions and carrots and the asparagus all just gonna sit here and chill out I'm actually gonna put the chicken in the refrigerator because I don't want that sitting out on the countertop for so long, but all the veggies are fine. Girl, it was so hard to come up with a cocktail for today, and I don't know why, because typically, you come up with a cocktail off the cuff. Anyway, I decided to go with the peach margarita. Now listen, y'all already know the drill. I didn't have any peaches, and I did not have any triple sack. Did not have any limes. So we made it do what it had to do with what we had. So the traditional recipe does call for lime juice because you know that's what margaritas have. All right, this is what Tanya's peach margarita has. One ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of peach schnapps, two ounces of tequila, and one ounce of Grand Marnier. Secret, I like Grand Marnier better than Triple Sec anyway. It gives just a little bit of kick and the flavor is a lot better in my most humble opinion. So this is the cocktail for today, peach margarita. You can choose to garnish yours with peaches, but guess what? I ain't had no peaches, I just told y'all that. So here's our cocktail. And we're gonna say that our little juice this morning was a mocktail. If you wanted to, you could add a little splash of like a seltzer water or something like that if you wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit. But we're going to say that we had fresh made juice this morning with celery and all the things. And then our cocktail for today is this lovely peach margarita. Cheers! From your hands and your body, it hurts so much. Well, dinner is done. Here's the chicken. I wish that I had gotten a little crispier, but it'll be fine. I'm sure that they'll love it because it looks good to me. <laughs> Here's the potatoes, onions, and carrots. I fixed some jasmine rice. I did have some broccoli left in the refrigerator from last night, so I heated that, and I added grated Parmesan to the asparagus. Dinner is ready. I hope you have enjoyed today's cooking with cocktails, and I'll see you guys next week.